Nobody knows exactly how the Granny Square got its name, but the popular theory is that the motif was loved by grannies. The first recorded mention, similar to the modern-day Granny Square, appeared in the 1885 edition of Prairie Farmer. The designer Mrs. Folk wrote, I've been trying a new crochet pattern for an afghan, which is based on the principle of crazy work. Crazy work, also known as crazy quilting, refers to the art of crazy patchwork with heavily embellished seams. She translated this quilting technique over to crochet. Can you see the similarities? In 1891, there was another mention in the art of crocheting. There's a picture of a granny square with the description, no two blocks should be alike and the colors may be combined to suit the fancy, but no pattern was included. It wasn't until 1897 that a written pattern was published in Wilden's Practical Needlework. It became even more popular during the Depression era as a way to use up scrap yarn. The granny square was so associated with the Americas that Europe even called it American crochet. Follow and like for more history.